Anyways, speaking of rock and fucking roll, no, it doesn't. But I tried. No. I thought we were doing pretty good transitions this episode, though, until this. You, one. you always go a transition like, speaking of this, be- or since we're talking about this, those that those are how you do transitions. All right. How else are you gonna transition, Josh? The next song. No, that's that's lame, man. That's lame. You gotta work it into what you were talking about. That's the fun part, okay? Sometimes it doesn't work. Well, we are talking about socks. Now we're gonna talk about more socks. How's that? <laughs> Don't trivialize this part of my job, okay, Josh? It's harder than you think. Yeah, I, I, th- I think you do all the transitions, actually. I try to. Yeah. Because you don't do them. You just say, you're always yeah. just like, well, the next song is this. Not as cool. Nuh-uh. No, no, no. Hajima. No, no, no. So we were talking about this next group earlier in our podcast, and uh, they just released a new song. Did we talk about them earlier? We did. When did we talk about them? We talked about them when we were talking about CLC. I don't See, this is the thing. I don't even remember what happened an hour ago. It wasn't um, even an hour ago. <laughs> it was like 20 minutes ago. It was not 20 minutes ago. Okay, come on. Look at the timestamp. Look at the timestamp. We just restarted that because we fucked up something <laughs> and they didn't need to know that. Why okay? did you just tell them? Because you put it out the timestamp. We're so yeah. professional. Um, anyways, so this next song and the last song we're going to talk about this episode is not a song that we picked because it's good. No. But it is the, a song that we had a lot to say about. We it. did. Um, and it is probably the biggest song, Second EXO. That was released in these past two weeks. And, oh, you're right. We did talk about them because they were like the girl that got the camera. you right. Right? They got the camera. Who's that group? It's EXID with their song, Lie. <laughs> I think their intro kind of is like greeting is like, who's that girl? I think that's... Oh. Well, then, that then that, I think, I don't know. But then I know they had a song that was like, who's that girl? Is that a different song? Is that an American song? Are you thinking about Eve? Maybe. Who's know. that girl? I was, I was la, about. la, 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 It's la, not a K-pop song. La, la, la. I fucked that up. Eve's that girl. She says Eve is that girl. But see, I never, I never reached that far. I never reached that far. Who's that girl? Change the track. And I don't care about change this shit, because I don't care about this. Change it. Change the track. Um, um, but speaking of change the track, see, yeah. got you there. Okay. EXID's last song, Pink Hot. Hot Pink? That was a song where I was like, Pink Hot, change that track. I never want to hear that song ever again. Um, I think it's pretty well documented that we didn't like that song. Yeah, it was um, not very great. We still don't like that song. I still don't like that song, right? Uh, it's, I mean, gotten, have you? it's gotten better, but it's still not... Very good. Still not very good. No. Um, and, and EXID has been a group where, like, you know, it has been, as, as they're getting more popular, mm. their their songs, at least to us, have gotten increasingly worse and worse and but worse. But people have saying they've gotten better and better and better. And I think yeah. EXID just won on an, uh, some music show. Mm. With uh, this song? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um... But, but we all know, we all know, you yeah. don't win on music shows for how great the song is, right? Yeah. You win on music shows based on popular you are. doesn't matter what your current song is, as long as your past songs have been great. Um, and while Pink Hot was kind of the, the, the donkey shit of, of the songs that they've released so far, this one is better. 
It is better. This one is better. Uptick. Yeah, I, 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 I actually kind of enjoy this song for the most part. Um, but we can't talk about a song without just straight up mentioning that the rap, the Ellie rap that comes in, in the middle of this song mm-hmm. is is almost as jarring as Moonbeal's rap in that LG song. Oh. Like, it is just complete different song. Yeah, it's it's like a sucker not punch. Remote. Yeah. It's like a sucker punch in the face. It, it's not, yeah. it doesn't belong. Like, it's not even that that part's not great, right? It's just, it's, just, it's a different song. It's just completely different. And like, it's so jarring to go from song to rap, and mm-hmm. it's even more jarring when they go from rap to back to the chorus. chorus. Yeah, super Frankenstein-y. Yeah, so cool. Mm. And like, the chorus itself is already kind of different than... Like the build, like the, the verse, right? Yeah. The honey verse and, and, mm-hmm. and long neck verse. Yeah. I don't remember her name. Zhonghua. Zhonghua. Oh, I should, I should know that one. Um, but. <laughs> it's Zhang. You're Zhang. right. You're right. Zhang. They didn't need to know that. Um, Zhang. I told you my co teacher's uh, uh, also named. Uh, I think it's Zhonghua also. Which is weird to With say. The O or A? Uh? The. Zhong. O. O. Chong yeah. or Chong? I think it's Chong. Chong? Oh, so no, you're fine. No, I'm okay. I, I'm not saying it's the exact same name. I'm saying it's pretty damn close, okay? All right. No, Nobody knows what we're talking about. No, we're talking about. <laughs> but anyways, so the rap portion of it, um, they include this kind of Korean nursery rhyme um, that is also prominent in Hyuna's Red. So it kind of goes like... And then it just keeps going and keeps going. And I don't know why Korean songs like to use nursery rhymes, but I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I mean, like, I think I really like Jonah's Red. Remember, I like surprised the shit out of you. And I picked that as, I think, one of my top 10 in 2014. Um, I I decently like that song. Um, I knew it was based off of a, a nursery rhyme, right? Yeah. But I, I, I actually, I, until today, when you mentioned it, I thought just the words were the nursery rhyme. Uh-huh. But I didn't know the actual tune that was part out. of it. Mm-hmm. I thought that tune was like a Shona hot joint, right? Uh-huh. Like, um, so when, I, when we heard it again, I was like, why are they just taking Shona's Red? And you're like, that's the nursery rhyme. And I'm like... The words are right. I, I, that's why I was confused. Ah, yeah. Because I, I didn't know the. We kind of had a little bit. Yeah. Of, yeah. Um, but so, th- that tune is like not copyrighted, right? Because yeah. I guess it's just the thing. So, yeah. so they can do. It. But like, I just don't know why you would use that same tune when you know Jonas Red was such a big ass song just two years ago. Like, yeah. why would you do that? Because people do that, you know. But the the, the opening. That honey starts with it. Really, really, really sounds like like Miley Miley Cyrus's song. Um, we can't. We can't stop. stop. We can't stop. Like we looked it up, mm-hmm. and we play them like kind of side by side, and we're like they're exactly the same. Yeah, like just the first like yeah. opening five seconds. Yeah, right. It diverges greatly after that, but like that that one sentence, like mm-hmm. the very beginning, it's like it like is the way she sings it. The same the. The tune in which she sings it, like everything is like exactly the same. Yeah. 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 Immediately. I was, well, we weren't immediately like Molly Cyrus. We were immediately like, what's, what's that, that song? song? Who's that girl? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, so, you know, the song itself, right, before we go to the music video, but the yeah. song itself, like, I actually do like Hani and uh, Jonghua's part. Mm, I do like, as well. I, I do like that part. Um, the chorus, like the build up in the chorus, like are okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're just like super poppy and super generic sounding, but mm-hmm. okay. Um, but when like Honey first started, I was like, oh man, this actually could sound mo- like a totally different song than what they've been doing, right? Mm-hmm. Like a really Americanized Miley Cyrus type song yeah. where I was like, oh shit, where is this going? And then it just kind of devolves into like generic generic town stuff yeah and it's just kind of sad and to then see. threw in a ribby rap part there too as well threw in it and again it's way too long like i know ellie you can rap we Does, know doesn't mean you need doesn't to doesn't mean you need to rap right? every time and that's not an exid thing that's a general thing right that's, moonbill yeah. moonbill we know you can rap don't need to rap. don't need to do it in every fucking song right um same thing here not good yeah okay Better than Hot Pink, but so far, so far away from up, up and down, it, it yeah. disgusts me, frankly. Yeah. 